for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, welcome back. Let's take a look at the Consumer Confidence Index that just came out two days ago. And let's look historically at where we've gone. So if we look at the big crash of 2007 to 2009, Okay, assuming that January was up here, okay, uh, we can see that we went from almost what, at 110 all the way down to around 25. And if we're looking at ours being around 130, then we're, we've got to enter this range down here at some point. And the trajectory in looking out like this looks like it's going to be maybe summer of 2023, according to these data that we're looking at. Um, let's look at the present situation. It just came out June 28th. Uh, it says the appraisal of current business conditions is much less favorable, not much, but less favorable in June. So we had 19.6% of consumers and business conditions were good, and that was down from 19.8. 23% of consumers said that it was bad, down up from 21.7. So let's look at some of the present situation expectations. All right, this was the pandemic, so everything stopped. And so that's why you're seeing this complete vertical line. This is more what's normal for a situation to take between six, six months and two years to actually hit the trough or the very bottom. And you notice we stayed here for a while, 29, 2010. So there was many buying opportunities down at this range, okay, before we went straight back up again. So it doesn't look good for us in the near term. Um, here's some more data. It says expectations for the next six months. All right, consumers grew much more pessimistic on their business um, outlooks for June and for the next six months. We went down from 14.7, expect business conditions will improve from 16.4. That's a big jump. Okay, 29.5, expect business conditions to worsen from 26.4. All right, some other data were that 16.3, consumers expect more jobs to be available down from 17.5. So they're expecting that there's not gonna be as many jobs available but 22% anticipate fewer jobs up from 19.5. So you can kind of see where this trend is going. Um, it doesn't look good for the rest of the year. So those of you that keep saying, buy, 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 I am not a financial expert in any way, but um, you make your own decision. Take a look at here and take a look at where we're at. And look how high the expectations, the presence at situation expectations is. It's like way up here, okay, jittering around. So this has got to come down and start at some point. All right, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, and as always, have a wonderful and blessed day.